Okay, how to install an HTML signature in Mailbird. I've only done this a couple times, so if I kind of stumble a, a little bit, please bear with me. Uh, but what you want to do is find wherever you downloaded your HTML email signature file and simply double click on it. I have for, for the, uh, the default browser for HTML files is Firefox, so uh, the Firefox icon is going to show. If you use Edge, or Chrome or whatever um, that you you'll likely see those icons ideally you want to install um, at least if you're doing Gmail you want to install with Firefox so I would strongly suggest installing with Firefox um, open I'm sorry opening the signature files with Firefox and uh, going that route uh, because uh, the, like Chrome and Edge and Internet Explorer, all, all browsers have their quirks. And I've found that Firefox seems to have the least of them. So uh, you can just go to, if you don't already have it, go to firefox.com, I believe. And just download it there. You don't need to use it indefinitely. I just suggest that you use it for the installation process. So once you download Firefox, or if you already have it, uh, you can right click and go to open with and then choose Firefox that way because if you have uh, the, the Chrome icon or the Edge icon or something here and you just double click on it it's going to open in uh, your default browser so if you don't have Firefox as your default browser right click and open with Firefox and here you go here's your signature then once you have it open in your browser preferably Firefox control A to select all Control C to copy it to your clipboard. Head on into Mailbird, and then in the way upper left here, we got this these three hamburger lines here, and click on that. Go to settings. Go to I believe identities, and then the identities that you are going to have here are going to be the email accounts that you have added to Mailbird. So I only have one that I've added for testing purposes. I'm going to click on that and then click on edit and then right here is where we you might already have a signature so just click in here control a to select everything that's in there backspace or delete to get rid of it control v as in victor to paste your new signature click ok and then we can close this out and hit compose and let's see how everything looks boom done so super easy that's how you do it ideally uh, I don't know, just for funsies, since we have time here, let's see if anything is different uh, doing it with Chrome. Open with Chrome, Control A, Control C, go back in the Mailbird, click on these settings, identities, edit, Control A. Backspace or delete. Control V as in Victor. OK. Compose. Yeah, it looks the same. See, in Gmail, um, what happens is if you use Gmail, uh, Gmail, uh, or I'm sorry, if you use Chrome to install in Gmail, Gmail underlines every uh, link that it recognizes because it thinks that everything that's a link should be underlined so it's easily recognizable as a link. Uh, in Firefox, you avoid that as much as possible. That's as far as Gmail is concerned. Doesn't look like it's an issue in Mailbird, so if you want to give it a shot uh, and you already have Chrome, use Chrome. Um, Chrome and Firefox are definitely the best. Don't use Safari if you're a Mac person because Safari has a ton of bugs. Um, but if you're on a, a Windows PC, uh, it looks like Chrome or Firefox are, are good to go. And if, if you do find issues with Chrome, then, then suck it up and uh, download Firefox and install that way. Again, you don't have to use Firefox anywhere beyond installing the signature. You can uninstall it afterwards, whatever. But it looks like it works just fine in Chrome. So hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.